Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libra. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or an image or a message on one of the cards which really resonates for you. Take notice of this because it is a message that spirit wants to bring through to you directly. Let's take a look at your first card. We have the card of love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So this, of course, is very favorable for love and romance. So Libra, if you have a particular someone that you're wanting to get to know a little bit more, you're wanting to ask them out on a date, you're wanting to talk to them, you're wanting to get to know them. Um, this is a wonderful week to do that. They might be particularly open to the suggestion. And of course, if you are in a relationship, that means that romance is on the horizon for you. And you might find that there is more affection, there's more generosity, there's more connection that is happening this week. And you might also find, because love surrounds all of your connections, you might find the more platonic relationships, there is more heartfelt connective bonds that you can forge or that you just, you feel that there's something more going on there um, at a deeper emotional, heartfelt, powerful way. So beautiful energy here. You might also find that... You're putting a lot of love and a lot of care uh, into a project, into a hobby, into something you're wanting to learn. So that's another avenue where your love and caring attention uh, can be placed. So a beautiful energy there to start your reading. Let's take a look at this deck of cards, Libra. Guidance for Libra, please, Spirit. Okay, this one here wants to come out for you. We have 59, which is the Starfish Spirit. Open to infinite possibility. And this beautiful starfish here opening up your arms, opening up to greater possibilities. Um, that's the message of the card. So Spirit is saying here, you might find yourself wanting to expand your horizons. You might find that you're wanting to move into greater knowledge about something. Well, this is the perfect week to start to do that. It may in reality be that you're wanting to expand your career. So you look at applying for different jobs. That's an example, but it may be another area of your life, of course. So very powerful energy here of opening up to greater possibilities. There is also a very spiritual connection here. Uh, the infinite, the spiritual expression within you, if you consciously connect into source God energy, is going to flow through you and that expression will come out in everything that you do. So very high vibrational, beautiful energy there, Libra. Guidance for Libra. You might find that there is a sense of wanting to change something also. I'm, I'm picking that up from this card as well. You might find that this week you are wanting to change things up, change things around, change a circumstance, change your thinking or perception about something perhaps, but there is a change here that is happening in your life or that you're going to be implementing. Parade of flowers, don't hold back. Life is like a colorful parade, come dance with the fairies. So don't hold back what it is that you're wanting to expand into combining these two cards here. So whatever this is that you feel you're wanting to move toward, expand into, open up horizons, don't hold back because there is space for this in your life. And if you're thinking, well, things are just too busy, too hectic right now for me to really take up this interest or to really allow this person into my life, 
Um, Spirit is going to make a way for this to happen uh, if it is meant for you. So there is um, support energy there, uh, you could say. So beautiful energy here of not holding back, of enjoying your life and the moments that you're involved with this week. Beautiful. We also have dance here and being drawn to that. So you might be a dancer or you might feel like moving your body, exercising more, being more grounded in your body. Something like this is also happening for some. Items for Libra. Angel with flower garland. I am the magic in your heart. Open your mind and listen and shine out to others around you. Yes, this is the energy I was picking up of you being, um, of kind of channeling the energy of spirit, you could say. Opening up to the infinite possibilities, channeling spirit energy, channeling God's source energy into your life. And you're going to shine in situations that you're in and others will see that shine in you. It will be flowing through you out into your circumstances. So a very, very powerful, very spiritual energy around you. I'm seeing here also with this card that you're wanting to build upon and create. And that, of course, might be in many different um, areas for different people, what that is. But you're wanting to um, create something very beautiful for yourself um, in your life. And I feel that if you follow this magic in your heart, if you keep your mind open and you listen, uh, you're going to be able to build and create exactly what you want. Open up to the infinite possibilities. Yes, I love it. Beautiful. Guidance for Libra. Okay, let's see. The King of Air. The keywords here are brilliant, impartial, professional and diplomatic. You might be a professional yourself, you might be working in a professional role, might be taking a lot of your time and energy uh, this week. Uh, you might also be looking for a professional to do some kind of work or to help you and give you advice perhaps about something going on in your life. If there is any uh, discomfort in a relationship, if there is discord, um, you are going to come across as this king of air. This is your attitude. And you are going to be diplomatic. You're going to be impartial. And you're going to speak your mind with confidence, as it says down here. Seek out professional advice, which you may be doing, and balance mental and emotional considerations. Beautiful. We have the ten of air around you as well this week. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. So you'll know if that is your circumstance or someone close to you when it comes to recovering from an addiction or something that is that they've been doing or been involved in that is negative. The 10 indicates that you are going to be moving into a new cycle very soon. Um, and with the 10 of air, it can be a... A painful thing that you're letting go of that you are moving through but it is going to improve it, it it's kind of like you're kind of almost there you're at the finish line here and it's the end of the the challenges embrace the change that is going to happen very soon for you the four of air this is nice rest this is taking some time out this is you having some time alone um, this is you being out of a tumultuous relationship or difficult situation and overcoming. And now it's time to take a step back and to relax and to know that you don't need to stress anymore. Allow more time before making a decision. So that's interesting. If you are contemplating a decision, if you're thinking about moving 
in a certain direction, um, allow more time. Maybe this week is not the right time to go ahead and, and make a definite decision. Meditation may provide answers for you. So that is something you might be interested in or might be part of your daily routine or weekly routine. Now we have another 10 here and this is to do with water, which is cups, which is emotion. So we're moving on from something very difficult, something harsh that has happened or happening around you and you're moving into a brand new beginning emotionally. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. You might find that this week you are in a very positive and good contented family environment or maybe work environment. Um, your emotions are quite settled so you have good emotional stability and emotional support and material needs are met which is always a fantastic wonderful thing. So we have that energy around you currently or if this is something that you are looking at bringing into your life this is confirmation this card is confirmation it's on the way for you beautiful and we have the five of water things not turning out the way you'd hoped not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilt milk so even though there's something here that has been emotionally taxing on you whether it's been a personal relationship that's ended or some other circumstance, whatever it is that's been emotionally taxing. The five means that it's in transition. You are in transition. It's not going to stay this way for the long term. Um, you might be in grief. And there are stages of healing and moving on that you're involved with and that will happen. So I'm seeing with the five of water and the ten of water there that your perspective emotionally is going to is going to shift. It's going to change. Um, it's going to become more positive because whatever this is here, you might have been devoid of love or support or you might have had a loss recently. And this difficulty is very challenging. But what I'm seeing here is that you have a contented family life. You have emotional stability here with a ten of water and a new beginning um, in a situation that you have been hoping for. So I do see that coming through for you. So you do have some amazing blessings around your emotions, around your connections with others, around healing, around love. The blessings are going to rain on down. Open up your perspective here. Know that there is going to be um, more possibilities and opportunities and for healing or for whatever it is that you're truly wanting to bring in a manifest in your life. That possibility is there. Just open up to these possibilities and you'll start to see the energies flow. Some wonderful energy around you this week, Libra. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and I hope it's been helpful to you in some small way. If you enjoyed the reading, click the like button and subscribe if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is such a huge help. I am forever grateful. Thank you so much. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.